10 powerful characters Naruto never got to fight. As the protagonist, Naruto participated in all of the most important battles of the series. Still, there were powerful characters he never fought. Naruto is one of the most popular characters in all of anime, and that is because he teaches people the value of hard work and friendship. He starts the series off as an unskilled troublemaker. But as the story progresses, his skill and power both increase to the point where he is considered to be one of the strongest ninja in history. Naruto was the main protagonist of his story. Which is why he fought more battles than any other character. He tended to fight extremely dangerous ninja who had their own unique abilities, but he did not fight every single strong character the series introduced. Some characters were defeated before Naruto could fight them, while others had no real reason to fight him. 10. Shikamaru led Haydn away before Naruto could even see him. Haydn may not be the smartest Akatsuki member, but he is still an incredibly skilled and dangerous shinobi. He became immortal by experimenting with several techniques associated with the Jashin religion. And he even learned a forbidden jutsu that allowed him to become a human voodoo doll. Shikamaru, Ino, and Choji wanted to take down Haydn and Kakuzu in order to avenge Azuma. And Kakashi went along with them. The resulting battle was impressive, and Naruto eventually showed up and crippled Kakuzu with his raisin shuriken. Shikamaru led Haydn away before Naruto arrived. Which made Haydn the only Akatsuki member Naruto had never met. 9. Nagato stopped Conan from fighting Naruto. Conan was the Akatsuki's only female member and an intimidating villain until Naruto successfully changed her mind. During Pain's assault on the Leaf Village, Conan was interrogating Leaf Ninja to obtain Naruto's location and eventually came face to face with him when she rejoined Nagato. Knowing her comrade was severely weakened, Conan moved to protect Nagato from Naruto. But Nagato ultimately told her to stand down, thus stopping any fight from happening. Instead, Naruto was able to resolve things peacefully between them. 8. Naruto had no reason to fight the third Tsuchikage. The Kage failed the ninja world multiple ways, but every single one of them was an exceptionally powerful ninja. The third Tsuchikage led the hidden stone village for decades. And he grew to really admire Naruto once he got to know him. Naruto and the Tsuchikage were allies during the Fourth Great Ninja War, so there was no reason for them to actually fight each other. It's a good thing they never fought because the Tsuchikage's dust release is one of the most destructive jutsu in existence, and even someone like Naruto wouldn't have survived a direct hit. 7. Suijetsu never crossed paths with Naruto. Naruto was by far Sasuke's closest friend, but Suijetsu managed to befriend the brooding Uchiha as well. Suijetsu came from the Mist Village. And he was at one point captured by Orochimaru because the Sanin was interested in his body's ability to liquefy. Suijetsu trained to become one of the Mist's renowned seven ninja swordsmen. Which was why he enjoyed fighting and killing. He and Naruto never crossed paths on screen, which explained why the two never got into any sort of fight regarding Sasuke. 6. Killer B. Naruto became good friends as fellow Jinchuriki. The series had its fair share of great Jinchuriki fights, and by the time the story wrapped up, Naruto had fought every current Jinchuriki except one. Killer B. was the Jinchuriki of the Eight Tales, and he managed to befriend the massive creature, which was how he was able to harness its power. Naruto needed someone to teach him how to properly use the Ninetales power. And B became that teacher. After an uneventful first meeting, B and Naruto ended up becoming quite close because of their shared experiences. 5. Danzo was beaten by Sasuke before he had a chance to confront Naruto. Danzo did a lot of terrible things in order to protect the Leaf Village, and those actions ultimately caused more harm than good. 
As one of the village's elders, Danzo was incredibly influential, and when Tsunade was incapacitated, he attempted to take the title of Hokage from her. He wanted to control everything within the leaf village. Including the power of the Nine Tails, and he would have undoubtedly used the implanted Sharingan in his body to try and take control of Naruto. This confrontation never happened. Though, because Danzo destroyed his own body shortly after he was defeated by Sasuke. 4. The fourth Kazakage was sealed by Gara before Naruto could get there. Gara's father was the fourth Kazakage, and he was strong enough to take on the one-tailed every time it rampaged through the sand village. He was one of the ninja who Kabuto resurrected during the fourth great ninja war. When Naruto finally joined the war, he sent a shadow clone to each battlefield, which is why he fought reanimated versions of the second Suchikage and third Reikage. Naruto didn't get a chance to fight Gara's father, though, because Gara sealed him before he arrived. 3. Hashirama died long before Naruto was born. Hashirama Senju is regarded as one of the strongest shinobi in history, which is not all that surprising seeing as he possessed would release. An incredible amount of chakra, and the ability to use sage mode. Like Hashirama, Naruto is a reincarnation of Ajura Atsutsuki, which explains why the two are so similar in terms of personality and power. Naruto was born decades after Hashirama's death, so it would have been impossible for them to have fought. They could have sparred a bit when Hashirama was reanimated during the Fourth Great Ninja War. But there was literally no time for it. 2. Ginkaku Kinkaku were sealed away before Naruto's clone could reach them. Kabuto only resurrected powerful ninja during the war, and Kinkaku and Ginkaku were two of the strongest because they possessed some of the Nine Tails chakra. They also wielded powerful tools that were originally wielded by the Sage of Six Paths. Naruto eventually sent clones to help each battlefield, but none of those clones ended up facing off against the Gold and Silver Brothers because they were both sealed away before a clone could get there. Ginkaku was the first to be sealed, and Kinkaku later suffered the same fate and Shikamaru appeared on the battlefield with Ino and Choji. 1. Naruto left Sasori to Sakura Chiyo. Sasori was one of the strongest ninja to ever come out of the Sand Village, and his puppet mastery made him one of the Akatsuki's smartest and deadliest members. Naruto met Sasori while trying to rescue Gara, and he probably would have fought him if Deidara had not flown off with Gara's body. Naruto chased after Deidara in a rage, and in doing so, he left Sasori to Sakura and Lady Chiyo. This resulted in one of the best fights involving one of the Kanoha Eleven, which meant that Naruto's non-involvement was actually a blessing.